Pilate then took Jesus and had him flogged, and the soldiers twisted together a crown of thorns and placed it on his head and put a purple cloak on him. And they came up to him and said, Pilate 
said to them, Shall I crucify your king? The chief priests answered, We have no king except Caesar. So he handed him over to them to be crucified.
a jar full of sour wine was standing there. So they put a sponge full of the sour wine on a branch of hyssop and brought it up to his mouth. Therefore, when Jesus had received the sour wine, he said, it is finished. And he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. Now then, since it was the day of preparation, to prevent the bodies from remaining on the cross on the Sabbath, for the Sabbath was a high day. The Jews requested of Pilate that their legs be broken and the bodies be taken away. So the soldiers came and broke the legs of the first man and of the other who was crucified with him. But after they came to Jesus, when they saw that he was already dead, they did not break his legs. Yet one of the soldiers pierced his side with a spear, and immediately blood and water came out. And he who has seen has testified his testimony is true and he knows that he is telling the truth so that you may also believe for these things took place so that the scripture would be fulfilled not a bone of him shall be broken and yet another scripture says they will look at him who they pierce. Now after these things, Joseph of Arimathea, being a disciple of Jesus, but a secret one for fear of the Jews, requested of Pilate that he might take away body of Jesus, and Pilate granted permission. So he came and took away his body. Nicodemus, who had first come to him by night, also came, bringing a mixture of myrrh and aloes about a hundred litres weight. So they took the body of Jesus and bound it in linen wrappings with the spices, as is the burial custom of the Jews. Now in the place where he was crucified, there was a garden, and in the garden was a new tomb in which no one had yet been laid. Therefore, because of the Jewish day of preparation, since the tomb